Hi, uh, my name is Vivekanan Asokan. I work as a researcher at the Institute of Global Environmental Strategies uh, in the Sustainable Consumption and Production Area. My research in the university and here at the Institute focuses on uh, sustainability assessment and frameworks for products, uh, companies and cities. And in my personal life, I try to uh, use uh, public transport as much as possible and I also do not use air conditioning as much as possible. So I think these are the two ways I try to lead a sustainable life. And I hope you could also do that. Hey, I'm Ying Lan, a research associate at SEI in Stockholm, working on the project Governing a Fair Transition to a Fossil Free Welfare Society. Transport accounts for 21% of global carbon emissions, and reducing this number to zero will have varying impacts across socioeconomic groups. As it's within my capabilities, I started to cycle to work, uh, which allows me to start and finish my work day more energized. Hi, I'm Alice Yamabe. I'm a policy researcher in sustainable consumption and production at IGES. My research focuses on preventing food loss and waste uh, through an ICT-mediated approach, which redistributes available food surplus to a demand. In my personal life, I also try to reduce food wastage wherever possible by redistributing any of my surplus to my neighbors and housemates uh, using food sharing apps, as well as composting my food scraps uh, for home gardening purposes. Hello, I'm Astrid Linsa and I'm a research associate at Stockholm Environment Institute. And I'm going to talk about food today. And as you might know, a quarter of our global greenhouse gas emissions come from food production and consumption. And in the latest IPCC report, they actually uh, highlighted that one of the most powerful things you can do to reduce your emissions at the individual level is to change your food consumption patterns. And so at SCI, we have a project called Candies, where we look at how information can support uh, behavioral change at the individual level. And for me personally, I've tried to fully stop eating red meat, which is the food item with the highest carbon footprint, but also other types of meat and dairy. And my great tip to do that is to find vegan recipes that you enjoy and you can discover new flavors, eat healthy, and without having the feeling that you're giving up on something. Hi there, my name is Nagisa Shiba. I'm a policy researcher at IGES. One well, of my research interests include sustainable ocean economy. As an example, sustainable fishing could be a solution to climate change. Fish is known as healthy food, as well as a source of protein with lower carbon footprint. So I try to incorporate fish twice a week into my diet. In choosing a product, the sustainable fishing certificates guide me. I'm still learning how to make my daily life more sustainable. So let's think and act together. Hi, uh, my name is Eva Engström and I work as a research associate at the Stockholm Environment Institute. Here I work in projects spanning uh, the field of food systems as well as agriculture and I work in projects such as candies as well as prior uh, agriculture 2030 and CR. Agriculture and its simplification and spread has had an immense impact on ecosystem biodiversity, for example, through land use competition as well as soil disturbances. I therefore try to support companies who either source products or produce products themselves that have been produced using agroecological and regenerative practices. Hi, my name is Erin Kawazer. I'm a program coordinator at IGES in Kanagawa. I help manage the platform for Redesign 2020, which showcases countries' green recovery efforts. Many countries are looking at advancing recycling initiatives as part of the circular economy, but in my own life, I tend to focus on reducing and reusing. I sell and donate things that I no longer need, and when I really need to buy something, my role is secondhand first. I'm doing my part to avoid unnecessary production, emissions, and waste. Hi, I'm Shabofa Rezai, a research associate at the Stockholm Environment Institute, and I work mainly on projects related to the circular economy, urban transitions, and sustainable societal transitions. 
to tackle pressing climate challenges, we need to also consider consumption-based emissions. For instance, in Sweden, currently, the consumption-based emissions per person per year are nine tons. Meanwhile, we need to reach one ton per person. My personal sustainable lifestyle action that I want to share is, first of all, to consume less and rethinking the way we consume and also consume consciously whenever we consume. So for instance, sharing and rental platforms could be an alternative way to reconsider the traditional ownership structures and move towards collaborative forms of consumption. For instance, regarding home appliances or car sharing and bike rentals, uh, all those services can help to contribute to pressing climate challenges. Hi, my name is Akane Matsuo. I'm a policy researcher at IGES. My recent research tried to identify the characteristics of agricultural heritage system tourism, which the purpose of its tourists are not only enjoying rural resources, but also learning local traditional agricultural practices and agrobiodiversity. So in my own life, when I travel to rural area, I try to consume varieties of locally produced food and learn about the history of agriculture while enjoying the beautiful agricultural landscapes such as rice terraces or traditional fishery ponds. Hi, I'm Kadi, and I'm a project manager at SCI Talon in Estonia. Through my work, I'm involved in several tourism-related projects. The latest project is called Vinci, which aims to increase tourism sector's awareness of their contribution to climate change and the possibilities to achieve low carbon tourism. I find it empowering to be able to understand my actions and their impact on the environment. In the context of tourism, I acknowledge my ability to make smarter and more sustainable decisions. For instance, I try to prefer locations that have Niki or EU eco labels, and I prefer to choose low carbon transportation options. That is how I show my respect for the history and culture of these countries. Hello, my name is Tommaso from the Stockholm Environment Institute. I'm a researcher here at SCI dealing with the issues revolving around sustainable and marine finance. In our project, Bible Cities Finance, we investigate the impact of the municipalities on the green bonds that were issued in Sweden some years ago. What I do as a private citizen outside of research is to investigate, to ask and to question your bank on how your money is being used, if it's being used in a sustainable way, and if you're actually making a difference into making our society more sustainable and more green.